So Jessie, thanks so much for coming on Platform. Because you've got your amazing uh, Lovesick book, which is full of your awesome drawings, we thought you could do a bit of drawing for us today. People have been tweeting us suggestions of like dilemmas for you to draw. Is there any that you saw that you particularly liked? I really like the kind of simpler ones, like trying to hate your crush. Because I find that I really relate to that as well. Because when you really fancy someone, but you know you can't get them, it's quite, I tried in the past to try and see the bad in them. It's so like, he has disgusting taste in shoes. That's, I mean, why would any, no one was ever gonna love him, even though I did love him and I was like, actually I don't mind, I can change his shoe taste, I can change it. This is from Grace, she's meeting her boyfriend's parents for the first time, but she's worried that they won't think her hips are childbearing enough. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Weirdly, since I've had a baby, the, I now kind of like, I'm really appreciative of my hips because it's a really useful nook for him to sit on. Look at Victoria Beckham. I mean, she doesn't have any hips. She's got, you know, 16 kids, so that's fine. Franziska says, I fancy a guy, primarily because he is a skater, and I cannot do anything about it because he was intimate with one of my friends before, and it would be immoral. However, I daydream about him all the time. I think that if your friend was intimate with him, then you need to ask the friend if she cares. And the, 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 the test is, if she's like, oh my God, I don't care at all, then you know she cares. But if she's like, oh yeah, you should go for it, then she kind of cares. But if she kind of like, yeah, whatever, it's like, she doesn't care. Okay, how in the world do you break up with a friend, known them for ages, but don't like them anymore? One of my only memories from being at primary school is a girl I kind of was friends with, but she, I, I had to kind of do a few things to prove I was her friend. She said to me, okay, we're not gonna be friends with Angie anymore, so you need to go up to Angie and tell her that we're not gonna be friends anymore, okay? And then I'll be your friend. And I really liked Angie, um, but because I'm a doormat, I went up to Angie to impress Sarah and was like, Angie, we can't be friends with you anymore. I'm sorry. That's a bad way of breaking up with a friend. This is good from SJC underscore X. Uh, yesterday, I forgot to lock the door whilst peeing and one of my coworkers walked in. That happens to me a lot. I think it's because I don't really like locking the door just because I'm afraid I can't get out. So I just kind of, I always have the door open. Not open, but just not locked. You don't see that as a dilemma? That's... No, it is it's a dilemma if it's like um, a unisex toilet. If you're not terrified by a unisex toilet, then you're amazing. Have you ever given someone a love drawing? Oh God, yeah. I mean, come on, <laughs> I spent my life doing that. I, I barely had any boyfriends, but the boyfriends I've had have all received <laughs> Many drawings. Yeah, I've done so many drawings to kind of try and woo guys. Um, and I, I don't think it's worked at all. What's the best thing that someone can do to woo you? I'm a big fan of texting. I think texting is a really important skill. And I have actually broke up with someone before because his WhatsApp personality is so much better than his personality. Tell us a li little bit more about Love Sick. I started doing a drawing a day online about four years ago. My first kind of big job was Harry Potter. I spent hours doing these drawings for kind of all the, the cast. And I went out and I gave them to like Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert Grint and, and they were like, they thought I was just kind of weird. But I'm so glad I did that now and actually a couple of them said to me, oh my god, I still get your drawing. And basically Aww. from then it's like, I just kept going and I'm able to look back over this like four or five years now and see my development, not only artistically but as um an adult. Love Sick is a collection of that development. Let's reveal the final artwork. This is one that's inspired by um, somebody who wrote trying to hate your crush. I've just said, I don't care about him, not at all. I mean, I don't even like him. He's beautiful and amazing and talented and lovely. And yeah, I love him, but I don't even like him, whatever. So I, I think you kind of get the gist there. This is inspired by Danny Page A, who wrote, is it a good idea to eat two plates of cookies in a day? And then I've just done, she ate the cookies, and she's written, oh shit. Which was the alternative title for my book. 